alternate segment theorem. The alternate segment theorem states that an angle between a tangent and a card through the point of contact is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. Let's consider a circle here with the card PT. Now here the card PT is making a point of contact T with the tangent AB. Therefore we have an angle here this is the angle PTB and what is the given segment is PT segment and what is the alternate segment the alternate segment is exactly on the other side like the angle at Q this angle and this angle at T these are both equal according to this property once again the property states that angle between the tangent and a card PT at their point of contact is equal to the angle in the alternate segment and the on the other side of this tangent that is the alternate segment and this angle at Q must be equal to angle PT B. This is the intent of the property. Now we want to prove this. So let's prove this angle. Okay, here angle, uh, let's uh, say that angle PTB P -T -B is equal to angle Q. And if we name this angle as angle Z, then we can say that angle Z is equal to angle at point Q. That is the theorem. Now we want to prove this whether this statement is in fact equal or not. So for proof let's consider that we have a center of the circle here somewhere and then draw the line from T which is passing through the center of the circle and touching the circle on the other side and name it as point S. So let's draw the circle, uh, draw the line, draw the line from T through center of the circle, center of the circle O to meet the point S. So we have this and now we are going to join S with P. So let's draw this dotted line here so that it shows that it's not the original line. Now angle S P T angle S P T is equal to 90 degree. Why is that? Because S T is the diameter on one side of S T is a semicircle. So according to the properties of the circle the semicircle always makes an angle of 90 degree at the circumference of the circle. And because ST is a diameter, therefore the angle at P which ST makes is obviously 90 degree. So let's call this as 1 if just in case if we need to recall it. And let's call this angle as angle Y and this angle here the let's call this angle as X. Now because this angle is 90 degree and we know that sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degree so from triangle SPT so 
from triangle S P T. X plus Y must be equal to X plus Y must be equal to 90 degree as well. The reason is this is already 90 degree X plus Y their sum is 90 so that 90 plus 90 could be 180 which is sum of all the angles in a triangle and let's call this as number 2. But if we add up Y and Z that is also 90 degree also Y plus Z is equal to 90 degree. What is the reason? The tangent is always perpendicular to the radius and OT is the radius at point of contact T. That is also a property of the circles, the very first property. So let's call this number 3. Now comparing equal sides of 2 and 3, comparing equal sides, sides of 2 and 3. x plus y is equal to y plus z. What this means is x is equal to z. So now z is the angle we want to prove equal to angle Q. But we have so far what we have is that angle Z is equal to angle X. Isn't X the angle made by the arc PT at S? Since X is angle since X is angle made by arc PT at S and it must be equal to the angle made by the arc PT at Q. It must be equal equal to angle made by arc PT at Q. Therefore, Z is equal to angle Q, which is what we wanted to prove.